His Excellencies, the Consul General, Mr. Doe Patterson, also, and all the members of the consulate who are here. And uh, I would like to say that it is our privilege that on this day we have gathered to honor a son of the soil of India. I say this because I also come from a village and he also comes from a village. And if a villager living in a small village playing with the mud, playing with the dust of India and he goes to one of the most advanced country and he becomes the premier of one of the most important state of Canada, it is the greatest pride for India. I have known him for many years because we have the Nandita Memorial Foundation uh, in Vancouver. <laughs> I am the man who has been standing on my feet right from 8 o'clock. So nobody can't be where they start speaking. <laughs> Welcome with words is always very sweet and very nice, but we Indians believe in the convention of reiterating our welcome with flowers because flowers, we believe, are the best messengers of our sentiments and emotions. We will request our honorable Chief Minister to add to us the honor of presenting a beautiful life-size garland made specially for this occasion to our Chief Guest. I will request Mr. Shatru Kansina kindly because this is a life-size garden, it's a huge garden and it may be very difficult for Chief Minister Saab alone to handle it. May I request you to kindly come and give him a hand in presenting this floral felicitation to our Chief Guest. May I request my very good friend, the lens man, to kindly bend down and take photographs because nothing, nothing, nothing can be seen by the audience. We hope you are taking back lovely memories of this evening spent with us. And Purisa will present this. They can ask some say, Baba, 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 Baba,